What's up, everybody? So, get, so getting into the, today's episode of The Young and the Restless. So, that witch Toria stayed throwing her temper tantrums. She trying to sell sell BS to Nate and Nikki that um, Vic, that Victor demoting her is a sign of erratic behavior on his part because since he he gave Adam the company, then he took her away the company, then he gave Adam. Nick and Sharon, the company, and then he changed the terms on them. Now he's demoting her. So, that means he's losing his, losing his mind now. Maybe he's unable to run his empire anymore. Trying to get Nikki on, on that train of having Victor committed or something. I'm like, you ain't slick. We see right through you. Nikki saw right through they were like, no, you're being dramatic. And even Nate said you're being dramatic. Cause she's not being dramatic. She knows exactly what she's doing. Please. She's just full of, she's full of crap. She's a spoiled brat. That's what she is. Um, but I ain't buying it. We all know Victor had every reason in the world to demote her. Because... Like I said, I've, I've I've put this in other other people's live streams and stuff, but let's let's be clear. Say if Victoria was not related to Victor at all, and any CEO demoted their COO to put their unqualified boyfriend in the position, you tell me who wouldn't be fired right on the spot if you pulled that off? You tell me. There is no way in the world. After she she almost screwed over the company the first time with Ash and Luck, because if you recall, Ash and Luck was playing her in the beginning with similar th in similar ways that Nate is. All they have to do is float her big, gigantic ego. That's all they do. They kiss her behind, prop up her ego, and then she's, she eats at the... They have her at the palm of their hands. Like... She really needs a reality check. She's lucky all she got was demoted to co-CEO. Because she's still running the day-to-day -day operations. He's still Victor was still owning the company anyways. But now it's just cutting out the middleman. Now they know directly that, yep, Victor's still in charge. Still in charge. So it isn't really much of a change. She's just ridiculous. And then, so she goes from Victor, Victor's crazy to saying, oh, no, this is all Adam's fault. And Nikki's like, well, I totally, I, I totally agree with you there. I'm like, they are something else. They really is. Like, let let Dylan come back and let them let let them start treating Dylan like that. Let's see how Nikki will feel then. That would be perfect, Karma. Let Dylan bond with Adam and let um, Victoria and Nick treat treat Dylan the way she treats Adam because I was reading because I know Adam's done a lot of stuff but so did Victor Victor's done a lot of stuff to harm all of them too yet Nikki still kisses his behind but she can't she could barely handle being civilized to Adam out of here that ex stripper need to get what's coming to her she need, she need Carmen to come kick her in the behind she is not a good person at all it's terrible and her daughter need to get what's coming to her too. Um, and then, but moving on for that, we have Victor and Nate. Um, Victor's just trying to check Nate, pretty much. But Nate tried to say, oh, well, I'm trying to get Victoria to transition to this new arrangement the best we can, the best way I can, I promise you. I, su I support your decision. So he just do a lot of ass kissing like he always do. He, he, he loved to kiss a lot of behind. That's all Nate doing. Uh, um, Victor checked him. He's one step ahead. He knows that Victoria is retaliating against him. So let the, let the battle lines begin. And we had Adam and Sally. Sally's like, come on, Adam. I'm going to have to worry about you. I, I know you. Because um, Adam kept, slip, kept slipping up throughout that meeting because he wants to push that he's this new man. But... Um, Sally was seeing right through it for a moment, but she let her guard down. They had a nice little time because Nick is away and vacate uh, on business trip. So, 
um, they just, they kept um, bonding and talking. And then next thing you know, he walked her up to that room and he planted that romantic kiss on her. I was like, yeah, she wasn't, she didn't, she didn't push away, not right away. She was enjoying that kiss. And she was like, oh, well, oh, no, I shouldn't have, excuse me, sorry. I said, no, I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, I shouldn't. But um, Sally's like, maybe, yeah, maybe you shouldn't have been talking about, oh, yeah, we don't, we don't need to discuss what happened. But um, then Adam walked away and Sally was just at that door. Like, oh, oh, she, I think a part of her wanted Adam to come in that room and finish that job, but, um, see, this brings me conflicted feelings, see, I was so over Sally after the way she treated Adam, but they have such good chemistry, though, like, it's really hard for me to fight off that fantastic chemistry that I know that they have. It just is. Um, but I kind of wanted to see if Adam had that chemistry with Claire. Because Claire is um, the former Kiki Jerome slash former Abby Newman, actually. Um, she's coming back as Claire. So, I'm really was looking forward to that but if Adam and Sally can make this work and they can pair Claire with somebody else and so be it I'm here for it because Nick you broke bro code you was a jerk Adam gave your daughter his kidney okay he got one kidney because of your daughter decided to go drinking and driving okay and Adam saved her life and gave her his kidney. So all he asked was for, for a little, for a truce and a fresh start. You agreed to it. And the second he broke up with Sally to protect her job, you screwed him over again and you started messing with Sally. So Nick is the villain here in this equation. And that's why everybody calls him out on that. Everyone says, some someone who will name who will remain nameless talk about well why don't anybody bring the smoke to Sally? Cause like I said, Sally doesn't owe Adam anything, cause he did dump her cruelly, but it was um Nick the one that did wrong, cause he broke bro code. That's why we're going after him. He's a jerk. In this, cause if Adam did the same thing with Nick after they made it true, and Adam um was to do that and if, obviously not with Sally but if it was with if Nick got with another new chick down the block and then Nick broke up with her for whatever reason and then Adam jumped jumped in bed with her I'd be calling Adam out on it too I'd be bringing some of the smoke to Adam so all is fair is fair mm -mm. cause if Sally would have gotten with anybody else I would have been fine with it Then I would have said it was Adam's fault because he did dump her cruelly. But, mm -mm. but like I said, we shall see. This continued. And then Nikki tried to get Victor to go on this vacation. He ain't going on no vacation with you. He want his company back, and he taking it back. Ain't a damn thing. Your your evil spawn could do about it. And then, lastly, Victoria went throwing a little temper tantrum with Nate as well. Because Nate's trying to play the kissing, be, kiss my, be, kiss the behind, kiss the pinky game. But Victoria just wants to, wants to be angry and throw a little temper tantrum. So, there's a little tension with them. He said, Nate's like, you know I have your back, but I don't agree with the way you're going about it. Because you're acting like a damn five-year-old. Which is true. But that was pretty much everything in today's episode. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode in the comment section below. And I will see you all later. Peace.